Last week, we brought you the story of a young girl who lost her arm seven years ago in a boating accident. LETV's Michael Spray caught up with young Sydney Kendall to talk about a new high-tech arm. Michael? That's right. At the age of six, Sydney Kendall lost her right arm below the elbow in a ski doo accident. As you're about to see, Sydney now has a new functioning arm designed and produced using 3D printing technology. Sydney Kendall has lived the last seven years of her life using many different types of prosthetic arms. She spent countless hours early on at Shriner Hospital in Frontenac learning to do things like tying her shoes and putting on makeup with just one hand. Her mother, Beth Kendall, says the hardest part is getting over the initial stigma of being different and having people staring. Um, we just talked about ways to handle it when it happens and what is most comfortable for her, what she can do. And I think at different points in her life, she likes to handle it differently and depending on the situation. With her old prosthetics, she had limited to no functionality of the hand. That all changed when three Washington University students decided to produce a first-of-its-kind 3D printed arm with function of all four fingers and the thumb. Kendall Gretsch, Kranti Padata, and Henry Lather began working on the arm as a design for a class project. We got the original idea from someone in South Africa that had built, um, they designed parts for someone that has a wrist joint, it's a hand. Um, and so our idea was to expand that project to someone that doesn't have a wrist joint. Sydney says the arm is really unlike anything she's ever used before. This one um, can pick things up really easily and I can, it's more like a real hand than my other ones were. I, it has more function. The chip on Sydney's shoulder is connected through a series of wires to a chip called the microcontroller that's inside the arm and it's basically just a little computer. When Sydney moves her shoulder up, the four fingers open. Two moves forward of the shoulder also opens the thumb. Being out on the water is still one of Sydney's favorite hobbies. She says initially it was hard, but that fear didn't last long. At first it was, but that was, that was seven years ago. So I, um, for like the first year, I was kind of scared to get back on a sea -doo. And but then eventually I did and I can't get off it. Good. Now initially there was no plan to go through with the final product. The students were only tasked with creating the blueprint for the arm. It wasn't until they realized how much hard work was put in and a little bit of convincing from their peers and advisors that they decided to go through with it. Gretsch, Padata and Lather say seeing Sydney use the arm makes all of their hard work well worth the time and effort. You know, most of our undergraduate career we've just been taking kind of theoretical classes and haven't had much design and build experience at all. And so actually building something and making it for someone and then actually seeing them use it is definitely really rewarding. Hospital staff says Sydney was the perfect candidate for the arm. She's outgoing, high energy, and she doesn't have a problem being in front of the camera. This is Sydney Kendall reporting for LUTV News. Now you might be thinking this could create quite a profit for the designers. They're not actually looking to patent the design. They say their hopes are to make it an open source document, which would make it free for anyone to download from the Internet. For LUTV News, I'm Michael Sprague.